We've improved the interface of the Overlap Analysis tool to make it more friendly and intuitive. You can now compare the coverage of an electronic collection with that of a collection in the Community Zone, your entire institution zone, or with Network Zone holdings. This can help you make better decisions regarding ordering and canceling collections. To view and run Overlap Analyses between electronic collections, go to Resources, Advanced Tools, Overlap and Collection Analysis. Here you can see all the previous overlap analysis reports generated by Alma users. Some reports are completed and some are your drafts. You can remove unneeded reports by clicking Remove from List. Here is an example analysis of a collection in the Community Zone that my institution is considering ordering compared with an existing collection in my institution. The idea is to find out how much coverage we would gain by ordering the Community Zone collection. To view the details of the completed analysis, click on it. In the right pane, we can see the analysis details, who ran it, the status of the run, and the time of the run. Under Analysis Report, we can intuitively see the results. Of the 46 portfolios in the analyzed collection, Around 30% had complete coverage overlap of their titles, and around 70% had no overlap at all. Indeed, we can see that 14 portfolios have complete overlapping coverage, and we can download an Excel spreadsheet listing those titles. And similarly, we can see that 32 portfolios have no overlap, and download a spreadsheet of those. Sometimes you'll see additional sections here, for example, for portfolios with partial overlap of their coverage. To summarize our analysis, if we subscribe to the Community Zone collection, we would gain 32 portfolios, but also bear the cost of an additional 14 portfolios for which we already have coverage. On the bottom of the right pane, we can see the collections we compared along with their details, the Community Zone 1 and the Institution Zone 1. We can also see the match method used to identify overlapping titles, and we can see that the matching took into account date coverage when determining an overlap. So much for reviewing an overlap analysis. Now let's see how to run an overlap analysis. On the top of the page, click New Analysis. You can either compare collections, as we've seen, or look up titles, in which case you upload a file and check its title's existence in Alma. Let's compare collections. Suppose we're considering canceling a collection our institution is subscribed to, and we need help in determining how much coverage we would lose when compared to the rest of our institution's holdings. Give the analysis a name and description. Select the source collection for which you want to evaluate overlap. Note that we are searching for it in the institution zone because it's a collection we are already subscribed to. When you've found the collection, click Select. Now select the target collections, which are the collections you'd like to compare with. You can choose Selected Collections from Institution Zone, Selected Collections from Community Zone, or the Entire Institution Zone, in which case Alma will exclude our source collection from the comparison so we don't erroneously check that it overlaps with itself. If you're part of an Alma network, you'll also see the option here to compare with the entire network zone. Specify the match method and additional details as needed. To run the overlap analysis, click Generate. Our new report is now running. We can see its progress in the progress bar. When it's done, we can click on it to view results. Of the 340 unique titles in the collection we want to cancel, 85% are fully overlapped. So, if we unsubscribe, we would still have coverage for 291 portfolios. We would have partial coverage for the titles of one portfolio, and we would lose 48 portfolios that either don't exist in our institution at all, or exist with no coverage. That's how you view and run an overlap analysis. Thanks for joining!